In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a stretch text reveal effect in After Effects. This tutorial will make your text animation more impressive. Without further ado, let's dive into the creative process and get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. I am calling it Stretch Text Reveal. I am using 1080 by 1080 resolutions. Set the frame rate to 30 frames per second and duration to 5 seconds. Click this little grid and guide button, and choose title, action safe. Now, press Ctrl plus R to open the ruler. Now I am going to add two horizontal guides for our text. Select the type tool from the toolbar. Click anywhere on the screen. Then type anything you want. Center the anchor point. Then align your text to the center. Right click on the text layer. Go to create. And choose create shapes from text. Delete the original text layer. Make sure your time indicator is at the first frame. Search here, path. Click the path stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then hold down and drag the left mouse button to create additional keyframes. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Move your time indicator to the one second. If your text paths don't look like this, make sure the mask and shape path are visible. Press V to select the move tool. Zoom in on the screen. Select the top points of the S letter, and drag them to the top. Make sure to hold the shift key while dragging, it will snap to the guide we created. Select the top points of the T letter, and drag them to the guide while holding the shift key. Do the same process for the remaining letters. Once done. Press the spacebar key and drag the screen to view the bottom parts of the letters. Now select the bottom points of the S letter, and drag them to the guide. Select the bottom points of all remaining letters. Also drag them to the guide. Select the first keyframes, and press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Move your time indicator to the 1 second and 20 frames. Then press Ctrl plus V to paste the keyframes. Select the bottom points of all letters. And press the up arrow key two times. Then select the top points of all letters. And press the down arrow key two times. Move your time indicator to two seconds, then paste the keyframes we copied earlier. Move five frames forward, then trim the work area. Select all keyframes, right click on them, go to keyframe assistant, and choose easy ease. Go to the graph editor. Now select this point on the graph, and slightly adjust it to create a smoother animation. Select the remaining points on the graph and adjust them like this. Exit the graph editor. Let's see the preview. Cool. Looks good to me. As you can see, all the letters are animating at the same time. Let's adjust them to animate separately. Click here to zoom in on the timeline. Move the time indicator to the first frame. And press Ctrl plus right arrow to move one frame forward. Then select the bottom keyframes and move them to the current frame. Move forward by one frame. Select the bottom keyframes and move them so they start from that point. Repeat the same process for all the keyframes. And that's it. Our stretch text reveal is ready. Let's add some colors to the text to make it look more professional. Right click on the text outline layer, and choose pre-compose. Rename it if you want. Go to Effects and Presets. 
Search and apply the fill effect. You can change the fill color if you like. Right click here. Then new, and create a solid layer with any color you like. Drag the solid layer just below the text composition. Right click on the text layer. Go to layer styles. And choose stroke. Go under the stroke. Change the stroke color to the black. Also set the stroke scale to 4. Duplicate the text layer. Select the bottom text layer. Change the fill color to white. Select the bottom text layer again and press the right arrow key 6 times to offset its position. Let's see the final output. Cool. Looks perfect to me. With this technique, you can create even more impressive text animations. You can also download the project file from my website. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.